Understanding Central Texas Flooding To understand Texas flooding, you need to understand some basic earth history and geology. It's important for real estate industry. 20,000 years ago, we had glacial maximum conditions and likely a clockwise atmospheric spin around a central high-pressure system. This system pulled moisture from the Atlantic and Gulf. As it rose, it condensed to form rain in Texas and snow on the glaciers. It took about 100,000 years for this last glacial episode to develop. It takes longer for snow to build up than to melt. During this time period, it is likely that Texas rainfall increased proportionally with the increasing glacial development. Central Texas went from much less rainfall than today to perhaps as much as 10 times the rainfall at the last glacial maximum. All this rain formed large valleys, like what is seen in Austin in the Colorado River Valley. Since then, we've had a loss of glaciers and a loss of precipitation. The rivers still exist, but they are much smaller streams in old large valleys. In geology, we call this an underfit stream. Next, the current streams and rivers have incised or cut their way into the older valley floors. These older valley floors are now typically misinterpreted as floodplains. These old stream beds can be consolidated or unconsolidated. The unconsolidated beds are typically younger and more relevant. In this image, you can see the old stream bed that is being developed in the incised stream, which is the Colorado River. From time to time, when atmospheric conditions are right, we return to the old paleo environment and produce enough rainfall to reproduce the old streams that occurred during the last glacial maximum. What we now call a flood. If we zoom in again, we see that no one is immune from these potential issues. It is really important to pay attention to the geologic history. The first known flooding of European designed and constructed structures in Texas was the 1724 flooding of the Mission de San Antonio de Valero. After the flooding, the structure was moved and rebuilt on slightly higher grounds and is now known as the Alamo. As this video is being produced, a sad and unfortunate incident is unfolding. The 2025 4th of July floods northwest of San Antonio have taken many lives, from San Angelo to Kerrville. Included, our children lost at camps and parks along the rivers and streams of the Texas Hill Country. As we look at the geology, we see it is the same. The underfit streams lull us into a sense of false security. We build on the old stream beds, only to return to the stream's flows of the past. It has been 300 years since the Mission de San Antonio de Valero flooded and we are still doing the same things. Please consider Magnet Geological before you buy, build, or lend. It matters. This video is dedicated to my schoolmate, Tanya, funniest girl in school. We lost her in the July 4th, 2025 floods in San Angelo. Thanks for all the smiles, Tanya.